What's up everybody? This is the Weld Machine coming to you guys with another video. And today's video is going to be a different video from what we've been, you know, from what I've been doing, you know, recently. Uh we're going to be talking in this video. Um we're trying to ex no my I'm trying to expand my business. Instead of using my personal truck, have a designated business truck. That way I can keep it separate, you know, do more. So I've been looking at a few trucks. I got two in mind. I need you guys, the viewers, to help me decide which truck I should get. All right, so everybody knows I have a 85 Chevy C10. Picture pop up anywhere on the screen right now. And we got two options. Two options. All right, you got a 91 2500 Chevy truck. It's a 2500. So, obviously, it's better than a 1500 because it can carry more weight. It's got a utility bed on the back of the truck and a ladder rack and a bunch of toolboxes. That's a plus. I can keep a lot of stuff in the toolboxes, and I can put my welder on one side of the truck and air compressor on the other side if I plan to get an air compressor or another engine drive. So, we figured that out. Now, we're going to go to the next picture. Next picture. All right, so this is again, you know, the only thing I can see with this truck so far, this is a daily driver from what I gather. Um, do a little paint job, nothing major. Change the headlights to some LED lights. Up, do some upgrades, probably do a bumper, maybe. I don't know yet for sure. But the truck looks pretty good. So as it sits now, it's good to go. Load up the tools, load up the welder, load up everything, and we can just go. And the pictures will be popping up right here as we talk, you know, as we keep going from this. All right, now we got another side view. This is of the passenger side. You can see the ladder rack at the top. Um, you know, might need a new marker light, maybe some tires, oil change, tune up. You know, when you buy stuff like this, I think it has 191 mile, thousand miles on it. Okay, guys, now we're going to go with the next truck. It's a 1971 Chevy uh, Custom Deluxe. It is a dually, but downside with this truck, this truck's sitting out in the middle of the field, and it will take some work getting it back to the house. The truck does not run. It's been sitting for years from what the person's been saying, and they got filed for a lost title before I can get a title for the, the truck. So the truck, now we're looking at the driver's side view right now. Picture will pop up in the corner. So the front tire has a flat. <clears throat> it doesn't have no bed. Um, the wheels look like they're intact on the rear. Uh, and you'll see, it don't have no bed. Gas tank might be need to be changed. The axle looks halfway decent from what the picture looks like. Only bad part about this, guys, is when you buy a truck that's out in the middle of the field, grass can cause rust in the vehicle. I know that for a fact because it happened before. But it looks like it's going to need new tires. I mean, the truck looks in great condition from what you can see. There's no telling what's underneath the truck and what it looks like. Now we're looking at the other side, the back, um, the back side of the truck. So I think it has a 400 transmission and a 350 uh, inside the truck. So um, that's what we got, guys. And I'm oh another thing. I'm gonna try to make more videos, at least two videos a week. I'm trying to up my videos so I can get more views and get my channel out there to the viewers like you guys that are subscribed. And I appreciate it much, much, much. Um, but um, yeah. So I mean, that's two trucks that I got in mind. You guys, let me know what you think. I'm gonna post this video tonight. Uh, should have another video probably up Friday. Or Saturday or Sunday about the plasma cutting video as far as it cut through half-inch material that some of my people in the comments down below been talking about so we're gonna prove them wrong um, but other than that I mean the trucks in decent shape the inside is decent Which truck do you think I should get guys let me know down in the comments below because my truck is black and it's an 80s truck 
So, which truck do you guys think I should get to go along with the Weld Machine truck? Will I do the custom stacks? Will I make it black? Will I put white bumpers on it? Uh, will I put my logo on the side? Uh, it's up to you guys to decide about that. Um, with the white truck, I probably won't do stacks because it has a utility bed. But if I got the dually, I probably would. I probably would do stacks. Um, but it's up to you guys. What do you think it should have? I'm trying to get you guys interactive with my videos. So help me help you with video content. And thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more. If you're new to this video, please hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I post. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you, subscribers. Thank you, all my new subscribers. Thank you, all my people that's been sticking with me since day one. You guys have a great, blessed day. And uh, if you guys didn't tell, I got a Christmas tree set up in the back right there. Because Christmas is right around the corner. So y'all take it easy. Have a great day. Have a great night. Don't forget, enjoy life. Well, Machine out.